not until it can be thought of and very well defined. Forget about its manifestation. Not until the thing can be well thought of and defined. Forget about its manifestation. Dearest viewer and listener, welcome to yet another episode of Life Spells, your motivational series with me, Nama Otipu Daku. Now, Pell number 18. There is no way you can exercise or have control over a paradigm of which your mind cannot fathom. I take it again. I am saying that there is no way you can ever have or exercise any control over a paradigm of which your mind cannot fathom. To fathom is to understand, to have a fair knowledge or to have an insight into. In my prologue, dearest viewer and listener, I said that not until it can be thought of, forget about its manifestation. Life is controlled by our understanding of things. Life is controlled by our insight into things. Before an architect puts up a drawing, an architectural drawing for a building project, that individual first gets a fair knowledge, a mental picture of that building before he or she puts a pencil on paper to begin the drawing. Before an engineer creates anything, the person needs a clear mental picture, an insight and understanding of the exact thing he or she wants before it begins. It is the same thing with our lives. History has proven to us that every individual who has made a difference in life did not just start, but began the journey with a mental picture, a vision. So when you have a vision, then you know where you are beginning from and where you are going. You cannot pack your luggage, put it on your back, move out of your home, get to the bus terminal or the roadside without knowing where you are going. So let me ask you, how much insight do you have over that paradigm you are seeking to control? How much knowledge and how deep is that knowledge you have over the very paradigm you are seeking so fervently to control? Time and experience has taught me that not until people really understand the paradigm they seek to control, they strive every day, they put in all the effort and yet they fail. Let me try to relate this particular episode with a real life experience that I have had, for which reason I came to this conclusion. In my partnership with my very good friend and brother, Evans Kabnayabwa, we were developing business plans for business entities and for individuals who wanted to venture into new businesses. All financial institutions will never give you any capital to begin your business or to put into your business without a very good business plan. But with time I realized that majority of our clients in spite of how rich the business plans we prepared for them were, and by virtue of that, they easily attracted funding from these financial institutions, were still failing. So I sought to evaluate why certain things were happening. And I realized that majority of them did not even understand the industries that they were venturing into. 
but we as researchers had fairer idea and knowledge about these industries and so we were able to put together very good and workable business plans for these clients but because they did not understand those paradigms which they were trying to control they still had these books the business plans with them as guides and yet they were failing dearest listener dearest viewer your understanding of the paradigm you want to control is the key to take you there and not until you have that in-depth knowledge do not venture into it that is why there is an adage i cannot quote but to paraphrase they say when you are given a tree to chop down in three days use two days to sharpen your axe or the machine then use one day to start chopping down the tree muscles do not control the systems of the world but stronger brains and knowledge it is the power of your mind the power of your brain how much information how much insight how much understanding you have over the paradigm that makes you the champion today young people majority of younger people are seeking to amass wealth without even understanding how the systems work majority of young people today are struggling and competing with the older generation a 60 year a 65 old year a 70 year old man or woman is driving a particular car and the 21 year old seeks to drive the same car or a bigger version of that same car without understanding how the systems work so in no time you see us crash and destroy our lives so the quote is saying that there is no way you can have and control any paradigm of which your brain cannot fathom not until your brain can understand that paradigm that industry that lifestyle that system forget about controlling it it means we need time to train it means we need the courage to humble ourselves and to undergo training it means we need the courage to humble ourselves undergo apprenticeship learn gain knowledge insight understanding so as to have control over the systems of the world and there is one key word which comes with all these patience how much patience do you have are you ready to be trained are you ready to undergo that kind of apprenticeship to humble yourself to be guided to be coached even as you listen to me even as you watch me do you have the courage of being patient enough to listen to me from the beginning to the end majority of you watching me are in hurry for me to end so that you will go in pursuit of your dream but not until you understand how the systems of the world work you can never control you can never take total hold and charge over them you cannot succeed in becoming a champion there is no way you can have or control any paradigm of which your brain cannot fathom how rich is your brain how fast is your brain how much information about that paradigm you are seeking to control do you have and how much courage do you have to be patient and to listen to divine wisdom from those who have seen it from those who have experienced it from those who have tasted and tested it over time and are highly convinced that what they give you works to perfection Dearest viewer, dearest listener, as I bring my message to an end, I just want you to understand that as that adage which I paraphrase goes, if you are given 3 days to chop down a tree, be courageous and patient enough to spend 2 solid days sharpening your axe or the machine and then dedicate that one day for chopping down the tree and you realize that because you have a very sharp instrument your task will be easier for you to do 
what it means is that whatever task that you have set for yourself, whatever vision that you have as an individual, you need the courage of patiently analyzing and planning for it before you start. Otherwise, you jump quickly into it because you are in haste because you are in an unhealthy competition with certain people that you seek to overtake in life. Within you, in your mind, you feel they are your competitors, but in reality, they are not. Do not let their timelines to success push you into running a hasty race. Be patient, be courageous to analyze, plan, and have a definite insight into exactly what you want to achieve before you set yourself at work. And I believe that as we journey together on life spells, we will have a testimony to share one day. Once again, this has been Life Spells and I am Nana Utupridako. See you at the finish line and be an overcomer.